Hey, what's going on guys? So a question I get all the time is, how much have I spent over the years or how much are all my tools worth? So what I've done is spent the weekend getting every single tool out of my shed, out of my car, out of every single nook and cranny in this house to add it all up and we'll see what it's all worth. It's my whole saw kit. Had that one for a long time. Legit, I've got, I don't know how many of these, but obviously I've got heaps of those larger pack out boxes. But who's using these? I would love to figure out another way of using these, whether I can sell them, don't know. At the moment, it just feels like an episode from Hoarders. I can't wait for this to be done. I like to be organized, but um, it's definitely not the easiest thing to do. Bet you a lot of people can relate to that. Got a heap of bags, on the bit holders, drills. So now we're up to the bags. So each of these bags has got some gear in it. More Vito, Milwaukee, more Vito. There you go, buddy. Uh, mainly we've just got pack out now, so. Another one of these. Um, each one of these is absolutely full. Throw that down here. So she's starting to pile up in here. I forgot. I'm gonna get the stuff out I use at work. running out of room and we haven't unpacked these boxes we haven't got all the tools out of the shed i think we're gonna have to maybe make a bit of room down the front put all the pack out of the back and we can put all the tools or the hand tools or the bits and pieces down the front here so it's easily accessible i think about 10 a.m so we're making good time because i would love to get all this done get it all out of the way and uh, that way we can get the missus car in at least but it's gonna be a big day big day who knows what we're gonna find in these bags. It's been quite a while since I've used a couple of them. I can tell you, it's uh, already refreshing. Just getting all this gear out, seeing what I've got. Can't wait to reorganize it, start fresh. Just feels clean, you know what I mean? I don't know if everyone else is like that. But that's why I love having my tools organized. back and I've spent a lot of time in here gone through every bit of the house to get what I can there's a few little bits and pieces here and there that I'm not really going to count um, things that aren't really worth much or worth really going through so all I'm going to do is go through each single item one by one we're going to throw up how much it costs and we'll see how much it ends up at the end all right so let's start with the pack out Let's go with the larger boxes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we can look at this one. We've only got one of the tabletops. Lock that in. And while we're here, we have one piece of the shelving from Milwaukee, the Milwaukee Packout. Haven't put this in yet. This is going up in the shed real soon. So we've got the crate, Milwaukee crate. Absolutely love it. Let's throw that on. We then have a whole pile of fish tape if I don't lose all of them out of here. We've got the uh, steel 240. We've got the polyester 50 foot, 50 feet. People get up me for that one. And then we've got the angler. That's the polyester 18 volt. And then the last one is, I think this is a 200, 200 foot polyester. And can't forget this one. This is my favorite. This actually goes in my bag and uh, actually in my pack out at the moment. And I use it all the time at work. This is the metal, can't really see it in this light. This is the metal 50 footer. Absolutely love it. I've uh, cut it off because uh, it got stuck in a wall. But got the drawers, got the small organizer. That's full. Got the pack out dolly. 
for the pack out trolley. And yes, the wheels are on the outside. If you haven't seen that video, check that out. Goes a lot better with the wheels on the outside. Got the fish sticks from Milwaukee. If you haven't seen these, everyone always thinks it's a level, but no, it's the fish sticks. Add that up. Got the old vacuum. Some organizers, mid-sized, mid-sized, small, small, mid-sized, did I get that? Mid-sized, 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 small, small, pack out lot. Oi. And then down the bottom, we have the roller, obviously. We've got the pack out Joey, which reminds me I'll have to organize a shipment over to Australia. And um, yeah, we'll have to get onto that. I've got to get everyone to let me know who wants one and get one over. And we have a 48 tools battery mount. We've got a whole pile of those, so we'll add them together. We've got three pack out mounts. One, two, three, plus, can't forget the ones on the roof. Oh, just there. One, two, three, We've got three up there. And then one hiding in the boot. So that's seven pack out mounts. Let's add up some of my bags. Some of my favorite bags are in here. Vito Tech XL. Tough tool bags, electrician, lockable tool bag. Klein Tools, I think that's a Tradesman Pro. Another Klein Tools bag. The XXL Tough Tool Bag. Vito Tech Pack. Milwaukee Tote. The Vito MC. Vito TP3Bs, three of them. MP1. So we've got, this is actually uh, my biggest fan right here. If we go through the battery, has got one, two, three, four, fives, and one, four, three, eight, 12, four, six, two, two, two. Got one of the uh, lanyards. Hardly use that, but um, may come in handy. This is the 10 pound, 4.5 kilo one. So now we're getting to all the Milwaukee battery tools. We've got the circular saw, M12 drill driver, cutoff saw, impact driver, soldering iron, jigsaw. Hey, the hatchet. Inspection camera, M18 drill, M18 impact, M18 cold saw. That needs an upgrade. M18 Sawzall, reciprocating saw. M18 Sander. Oh, with the bag. Most people haven't got the bag. I think this comes with the planer. No idea how it got in my box. M18 Bandsaw. Lantern. M12 Inflation Pump. Milwaukee M18 Drop Saw. Got a Diablo blade on it. If you've been following, that was one of my more recent buys, the compressor. Absolutely love that thing, really quiet. We've got a few of these bags, one, two, three. Also got this big fella, Itachi router. This is a 240 volt one. I actually got given this quite a while ago. It's been really good, made a few tables out of it. Dewalt drill, this is bottom level. I actually won this one, so but we'll put it in there. The last of my Makita gear. A lot of people ask me if I've ever been on Makita or any other platform, and Makita was my last platform I was on quite a few years ago. I think this is over 10 years old now, these tools. Uh, a lot of the other tools I had, reciprocating saw and a few other bits and pieces all got stolen. But yeah, this was my first kit. It's still going, fantastic. The batteries haven't died. Um, the cold saw still works, the drill still works, fantastic. I'm really keen to get onto the, uh, the XGT range, get onto that 40 volt, but yeah, throw those in. That is a Hilti tripod, I've had that for ages now, it's really good, but definitely pricey, throw it in there. So I've thrown all this gear up here, we're gonna have to take a rough guessment of how much this is. Just bits and pieces, heaps of uh, hammer drill bits, Masonry bits, we've got a fair few um, step bits. I think this one's cooked. Got a heap of the bit holders, including the Makita ones, Vessel, and the other ones. We even got one of these. I think I got this off Amazon, eBay, one of those places. It's been really handy, especially for duct work. So it's a pretty cheap one if you haven't seen it. Say you want to cut something to fit around here. Obviously this one's not big enough but you can throw that on there. Oh, throw these down. And you can then trace that out and make a perfect uh, cut. Milwaukee bottle opener. That one I've used a heap, it's been really good. Charger, bit of worth. They're like multi bits, they can go through everything apparently. A heap of jigsaw blades. We've got the tough built roller stand. That's been really handy, super cheap that one. This one here's got puncture proof wheels. They're like sort of rubber. And uh, this was my first trolley before the pack out, the, before the pack out was even around. I had this really good. 
I think I got it from Bunnings. I think it was quite pricey at the time. And you've got a little lock there and uh, away you go. Really handy. Used to put all my gear on that. Used to put the um, large Tech XL bag on it and uh, off you go. All right, now we've got the small stuff. Got the compressor over there, the Lincoln. We also got the uh, hose, obviously. Three of the graphite pads, absolutely love them. Zito spray gun, quality. This one here was my first ever laser that I bought. I think it cost me $90. I think it's still, does it work? Sure does. It's not the brightest, but for 90 bucks, it did really well. I actually used it for quite a few years. So next up was the Barco. A lot of it's actually missing. But it came with a soccer set, it's got spanners and stuff in there. That is a really good kit. I think they're roughly about, they're under 300 bucks. So I'm definitely looking at getting another one or at least filling it up. I'll probably stick to Barco. I don't need to change, although I do like the Milwaukee ones. We'll see what happens. Got the Metabo 18 volt fridge. Got the chargers, so we've got the Metabo charger, Makita. Hikoki, we've got the Milwaukee, we've got a Hikoki battery. We've actually got two Metabo batteries. Uh, they're 10 amp, and there's another Makita. I think they're where are they? threes. We've got two threes. So we've got a few battery holders and also tool holders. So we've got the Perch tool holder. Got that a while ago. All the 48 tool gear. The That's the Milwaukee battery holders. We obviously had the other one there. Down to the nitty gritty, we've got a data tester. That cost me under 10 bucks. I swear they were about three or four bucks on eBay and legit, try to get one, see how they go. I bought two, one just in case and both of them are still going. I haven't used them in a while, but it's just <laughs> super cheap, super cheap. All the data termination tools, we've got a Comscope. I know that's not uh, cheap. Got a 110 punt, uh, not a 110, we've got a I can't remember what that's called. That's for putting your biscuits in. If anyone remembers what that's called, hit me up. It's got the Fluke Jack Rapid, and that works on the System Max ones. Got a 110 punch down. Um, these ones you all get for free. They're for like pan jute and that sort of stuff. Another 110, so we've got two 110s. We've got two Chrome tools, one fake. One cost me roughly $10. I would not recommend it. I'd do rather the actual Chrome tools. Whether they still call a crow tool, we've got a stripper. That one's just a cheapy. Fat Max knife, that's a safety knife. No blades, sweet. Klein Tools knife, a couple of Milwaukee's. All the Fujia gear. I'm gonna do a whole review on all this, but we've got the conduit cutters, Fujia adjustable wrench. These things look good. All the Fujia, uh, how do you say it? Corican, Corican range is fantastic. You'll have to stay tuned for the full review on all their gear. I've got a fair bit of it now. They're the cable strippers. Absolutely love them. They do feel nice and um, work great, but uh, I don't know if I'd use them full time, but stick around for the review on that. The flash cuts, they've been really good. Really small, real fine. Milwaukee staple gun. <laughs> nah, that's just a cheapie. How many of you guys know what this is for? Put alcohol in it. It's for fiber. So I bought one of them. They're really pricey. But um, I think you get cheaper ones online, but I paid a top dollar back in the day. I really needed it, unfortunately. Paid too much. Got the Lufkin drywall square. Fat Max level. Empire square. That's ancient now. Still going strong. Got a little level in it. I don't think I've ever used that. So I got this one. This is from JDSU. I've actually never seen their gear around, but this is an F set. I got this, I reckon, It'd be over 10 years now. And what I what did I pay for it? I actually paid a carton for it. So the foreman on site found it uh, up in one of the ceilings that we were demoing. Someone left it up there, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, I got it for a carton. What a uh, bargain, really. Hopefully, <laughs> could be cheap, but legit, it's worked for years. If I can remember how to turn it on. Nah, battery's flat. I haven't used it in a long time. But yeah, helps you to locate cabling. I'll be uh, really surprised how much this is worth. Next up are tape measures. We've got the new Dewalt, Fat Max, Lufkin, the Milwaukee Stud, another Fat Max. That's the uh, auto lock one. Got the Fat Max. Uh, they used to be called the Extreme. They don't call them the Extreme anymore. So 
I've only just bought that, keen to see if it's any good compared to the old ones. The old Fat Max, that one's ancient now, that's a 10 meter. Klein Tools, that's my go-to at the moment. We've got the uh, Unilight, haven't used it too much. It's only a five meter, Lufkin 5, everyone knows I absolutely hate this one. There's a whole video on that, another Lufkin. Now if we look at multimeters, this was my first one I ever bought. This is the 117. This is sort of like the go-to that everyone goes to and it's still going strong, absolutely love it. Would highly recommend that. But then we've also got the T6 1000, that's the T6 1000 Pro, I've done a video on that. Haven't done a video on this yet. I've been meaning to get around to it. I've just been too busy and check out that. That is the 378 FC. Fantastic little kit. I've used it a few times now, really nice. It's all wireless so it can go to your phone, which is really handy. It also logs all your results. Got a few saw blades here. <clears throat> this is a funny story. Probably like eight months ago. So if Erwin ever watches this, hit me up. Erwin contacted me. They wanted me to do a bit of footage with their new blade. And uh, I said, yeah, sure, I'll do it. Send out the blades. And they never talked to me about sizes that I could utilize. Obviously all your circular saws, drop saws, it depends what saw size you're using. And um, never asked, so really strange. Then they sent these out. Oh, there's two, what is it, two of these? Yeah, they're both exactly the same. Two of these and they're for the 84 mil, which I don't have, I can't use them at all. And then these ones, I definitely can't use. These are massive. I'm only using a small drop saw, the one I showed you before. And I contacted them, said, what do you want me to do with these? Like, I'll send them back. And if you want to send out anything that'll actually fit, that's fine, but no reply. So, Erwin, if you're watching, do you want these back? Has load pneumatic Brad Nailer. Got this mask from M3. Um, a few bits of DeWalt gear. These are the bits I really love though. That laser's been really good. That's just a red laser. Gonna pack that for tomorrow. Then we've got the locator and, will this work? Nah, that gets your distance with a little laser. We've got all the uni light, we've got the worksite lights, we've got the SLR 1750, we've got the wireless charger and the wireless charging headlamp. Been using that heaps of work in the moment, loving it. We've got the WCFL12. That one's also wireless charging. We've got the, pe oh, the power pack, which is magnetic. I use that literally almost every day. Then my favorite and go-to at the moment on site, this is the IL925R, there you go. Absolutely fantastic. Then the IL375, same thing, just a little bit smaller. I'm looking for my smaller one, I've got the 175, but I think that might be at work at the moment. Chisels from Barco. Love that kit. Got to get it out a bit more often. Then obviously all the Craig gear. Can't go past Craig. I'm really keen to get a lot more and get back into timber work. Yeah, we've got this uni light as well, the RL5250. This is my worksite light at the moment and uh, it's actually helping me to be able to light up this. Tough tool bags, spanner roll, and I think I've got the gear wrench. It's got uh, two sets in here. All these are ratcheting. And uh, yeah, I've got two sets in there. I've got metric and imperial. How am I gonna get over to here? So, we've got a couple of uh, coax crimpers. That one's been left out a bit, but that one's in the kit. That's with a stripper. Get a few bits and pieces. That is a K-back set, I think. It's the same, same case as these ones, K-back. This one is to terminate your beans, which I've almost never had to do. We almost never use these, so don't know why I've got three. I think I bought this one years ago, used it maybe once or twice. These ones, no idea where these came from, most likely found them. How many tools do you find at work? I find heaps. I found a Jiprock saw the other day, found a tongue the other day. Yeah, find a lot of tools. So hole saws, am I gonna go through each one because I've got a whole heap. There's these ones and two other kits out there. I think I'm just gonna make a rough judgment couple hundred bucks. That one there alone is roughly 40 bucks. It's actually pretty cheap. That's the x Talk from Sydney Tools, which is really good. That is a lifesaver. But we've got a few different ones. Diablo, heap of the Bosch. I used to run heaps of the Bosch, which then turned into Diablo, if you didn't know. There you go. I don't know if someone bought someone, but I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same. I did buy some Marksman 
hole saws. They're the step bits, they've been quite good. So there's that. We've got some X Torque drill bits, some Al Alpha drill bits, some cheap step bits. We're going to do a review with all those. So that's why I've got a few extras. Hop hole of these, Alpha sent those out. Conduit springs, who uses these? Lifesaver, obviously we're not using EMT over here. Uh, we're using just PVC conduit. So that's where these come in handy. Uh, we're coming up to the final pass, guys. We're just doing the hand tools now, all down here through there. How are you guys holding up? This has been a long video for me to record, so I hope you appreciate it. All right, all my strippers, cutters, stretchers, ergo stripper. That's a stripper, obviously. Stretcher, I've done a video on that. We ha, is it Enomic? Enomic pliers or cutters? Haven't really shown much of that. Would not say they're that great. Parrot beaks, cable stripper. That's a Pandude flush cuts. They blow up, I find. The uh, heads aren't very strong, or, or they're too strong almost, too much, too hardened. That um, I've seen them blow up on Velcro. Got Klein sides, works on needle nose. They're just cheap, small, cheap, long. Who knows what these are? They go along with that little fiber, uh, what do you call it? Fiber alcohol container. What brand is that? Can't really see. But these are fiber strippers. When I used to do fiber, did it for years. Absolutely love it. These are seized up, so not much good now. Milwaukee stripper, who knows what they are. Got the Weeha Crosscut, Knipex, Knipex 200mm, Crescents, NWS, x Torque, Weeha. Klein, Milwaukee, another Crescent, Watmaster Red, Work Zone, Marvels, just the normal Marvels, not insulated though. Flukes, Fujia, one of the blue, blue style. Got the Fujia Blacks, how nice are they? These ones are Asaki. These were some of my first flush cuts and these are good bang for buck. You can get them on, uh, I think they're eBay. These ones, no idea what these ones were. What are they? Ah, deer, reindeer, something like that. Bought these, I should throw these out. These are rubbish. Some Vice Grip, little, little sideies. Almost never used them, no idea where I got them. More Asaki, Kinepec, Work Zone, Marvel Cross Cuts. Uh, no idea what these are, no idea where they came from. I think probably came from Dad. x Talk, Fujia, and a whole pile of channel locks. Two, four, six. We've got six channel locks there, another channel lock. These ones are those ones from bloody TikTok. Absolute rubbish. They reckon they can go through anything, go through like chain and yeah, absolute rubbish. Clipsaw, these are the QC ones for your Quickenex. Southwire, Milwaukee, NWS, more Fujia, more NWS side cutters, Southwire. And we've got three of the Kleins, one, two, three there for a giveaway. Router bits, Zito Electric Engraver, couple of conju cutters. I think that's Crescent, 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 Crescent. We've got the Rigid, Pot River Gun, King Chrome. This junk won't even count that. Another conju cutter, which, How's this work? Yeah, love that. No idea what brand it is. So we'll make a guess on that one. The crimper, Stanley Stud Finder. Got some Vernier calipers. I don't know the, there we go, Tool Pro. Got the client's magnetic wristband. Got some Renegade files, Trojan, blah, blah, blah. No idea what they're called. Found these ones. They're actually, yeah, they're actually Nipex. So I actually found them, no idea what this is for. So if you guys know, let me know. Trade Shade Holder. We've got a few clamps. They're all Irwin, Irwin, Dewalt, Dewalt, and another Irwin. Got the Lufkin Square, which opens up, gets to 300 mil, 310 mil. Really like that, used it quite a few times. Stanley Square. Pack of Milwaukee reciprocating saw blades, a couple of corking guns. What do you guys call these? We call them butt phones. I actually don't know why, but that's the one I got. Really expensive, really expensive when you can usually just use a digital phone these days. And I haven't used it too much recently. But yeah, let me know what you guys call these. King Chrome Allen Key Set, Imperial and Metric. Got some pipe wrenches, is that what you call them? Using on taps and stuff, tap, tap wrenches, I don't know. Got your impact screwdriver. That one's just from, it's a force from Trade Tools. Couple of hacksaws, got a mallet, gloves. Got a multi screwdriver, got a few of them. We'll go through those. Dewalt punches, Milwaukee light. Got the headlamp and the pencil light. A few adjustable wrenches. I don't think there's anything really worthwhile in here other than that one. That one's a Sid Chrome. 200 mil, oh no, they're both Sid Chromes. 200, 250, just a cheapy. The Trade Tools ones, I think they are, from ages ago. No idea where I got that from. That one's a 300 and a 250. We've got a scraper, 
glass scraper, tile scraper, bearing pour, couple of multi grips. You've got the Knipex, you've got the channel lock. No idea what brand that one is, just a cheapie. We've got one of those multi bits. I got that off my store that I sell. Irwin chalk line, got an electrical key doobie whacker. No idea what they call these, but one of those. All my chisels, extension bar, drill bits, chisel bits, two pairs of tin snips, Irwin, Milwaukee, cutters, gold blast, Black Panthers. Who's using Black Panthers? These are a must have, absolutely love them. These are pretty munted, look at that. Who knows what I cut with that? Got to get a new pair. Then we've got all the work zone screwdrivers. I think these were eight bucks, 10 bucks a pack. All my Weeha screwdrivers, just got this one as well. Picked this up for 60 bucks on Amazon. Bargain. Yeah, all my Weehas, that's one pack. There's another pack of the work zones. I've got a few other packs that I haven't brought out because there's just too many. Klein Tools, the Weeha Pick a Finish. Weera, right angle bit, Milwaukee. 45 degree bit from Milwaukee. Fluke Test Pencil, Stabler. Got the level, got the Marksman Ruler uh, level. Got the Pandrute Cable Organizer. I don't know what you call them. What do you guys call these? for uh, keeping all your cables nice and straight. Hot polar pens, pencils, we've got all the tracer gear. We've got a picker, lira, pens, pens, pens. I've got pens everywhere in the house. That's not even like a tiny bit of them. Air gun, chisel bits, I think these are just Stanley. Security bits, security bit, RCD tester, plaster saw, plaster saw Milwaukee, that one's a Kanga. Couple of extension bits. We've got a couple others elsewhere, I wonder where they are. And we've got some Allen keys. They're from Boxo, but then we've got the Weera, all the multi screwdrivers, we've got the Weera, we've got the Klein Tools, we've got the Milwaukee, another Milwaukee, another Klein Tools, that's the ratcheting one. Love that one. Got this one here, absolutely love this. this yeah, this one I sell in my store, absolutely love it. It's also extendable. That one's the Southwire, and the Stanley, sort of like gun grip, not bad. I actually really like that. That's ratcheting as well. We have got the table saw in there. That's just the Triton. So we may as well throw that in. Then we've got a few other bits, which are for the gardening tools. Obviously we've got the M18 blower. We've got the trimmer, which that's the power head. So you swap the trimmer over with the edger. Done a whole video on that. We've got the Metabo mower over in the corner there. And that video is actually coming out really soon. Is that it? I have a feeling that's it. So here we go, guys. I've just done the editing, just done the figures, added it all up, and let's have a look at how much I have spent on tools or how much all the tools are worth. So we're looking, what's up? Nothing. Just waiting to see how much you've spent. Um, okay, that's, that's fine. Um, all right, so, so we, we, we spent, uh, it was just under $1,000. So not too bad, not too bad. That's it, guys, that's it. All right, I'm just going up to the shed now. Thank you. Way too close, way too close. All right, the actual figures, guys, here we go. So, we have gone through the figures. I've even got the winners for those that actually chose the closest to this amount, and there's actually two people. So, I figured it would be around the twenty-five dollars to $30,000, and I was dead set wrong, dead set wrong, but we've got two people that are right. So. $38,037. That's crazy, that's insane. It adds up so quick, so quick. That is just nuts. So there you go, guys. And we've got JT, I think he's a painter. We've talked before, man, and uh, Ethan. So JT on YouTube, you've won some bit holders. And Ethan from TikTok, congrats, man. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers for everything. Stay tuned till next time. Catch you later.